Welcome to the program. I am a white man, plain dumb white guy. I am the New World Order. Ow! 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 We do this show without headroom. This is Fringe Video. It is not the 23rd of August. It's Monday the 30th of August. You were supposed to, when I trusted you people, to change the graphics. I trusted you. We have a full crew here today. You'll see it on the end credits. We've got Jason Buck on camera. We've got Steve. I can't pronounce your name. Uh, it's some Norwegian thing. It should be natural, but I can't do it. Nova. Uh, anyway. So whatever. We got my daughter Jenny on camera. We got Kaylee here. We got Jason, Bur or Jason, Aaron Baruch. <laughs> We've got a studio audience. Life is good and the grass is, well, it's actually the grass is raining. And I'm being charged with fifth degree assault. But we'll get to that. I'm also charging another guy with fifth degree assault. If we have time today, we'll do it. If not, it's two weeks from now because I won't be here for the uh, Labor Day weekend. And of course, on Labor Day, we don't work. That's American labor for you. Steve, line one. Steve, are you sane or are you on the fringe? Yeah, um, I'd just like to say I agree with you 100% on everything you say. You're, uh, you're, you you're dangerous. <laughs> I know you get hacked on a lot there for what you say, but uh, it's all true. I appreciate it. I'm just a plain, dumb white guy. You can tell the talk radio junkies because they got their own portable headsets. I need, I need to deaf myself out here because I'm going to talk about issues I don't want people to recognize me on. I'm going to, uh, parents, send your children out of the room. I'm going to piss off uh, all kinds of people for no particular reason. Last week, uh, I was called a redneck by somebody in viewer response. Jason, get up here. Uh, then I was criticized later for making fun of rednecks. I am George Bush's first and brightest uh, point of light. I'm the only point of light, apparently, to sign up for the program. I am the New World Order. This is Jason Buck is helping today with some more viewer response before I get to main, my main topic, which is I have a dream. I'm going to talk about that little 30th anniversary thing. And please tell me there is a title here that says I have a dream. I think it is the up to praise. A lot of fire oh, under that. Most place. interesting program. I thought. <laughs> and in as far it's as the liberal and education goes, system. Anything goes. <laughs> you read it. Go back to camera. Thank All you right. very much. I think it is... A, this is the most interesting program on television, and in, as far as entertainment goes, anything goes. It's the most interesting, intelligent thing on, so please keep it on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a dream. You can't read this. I keep telling you about the colors. It says I have a dream. He's got it. Uh, the, my point with the cross burnings, of course, is that most of these high-profile so-called hate... Um, it must be raining again. Got something to wipe this off with. Thank you. Oh. Uh, this is Marcel Marceau on drugs. Ah! <laughs> what am I doing here? Yeah, hey, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Good. i got a question for you. Yeah. You just stated that people with pagers are obviously drug dealers. <laughs> I use a pager, so... <laughs> uh, it's a I use a pager, and I do not deal drugs. Nothing. <laughs> I serve two combat tours, and I'll be damned if I'm going to have you use, your, use the American flag for personal reasons. People have died for that flag. People have given lives for that flag. We fought hard for that flag. God bless America. I'll be damned if you're going to use that for your own personal agenda. Just because you want to beat your little kid's butt, that's your problem. But you do not try to influence other people because of that. And for your racial comments, you're worse than Ross Perot, David Duke, <laughs> any one of those other white sheets that want to jump around. So if you want to make fun of people just because they're a color, say they got white shirts for them, you. Uh, I was waiting for that. And this is a clear example. <laughs> Crank that. This is a clear example. This is a clear example of what went on last week and what continues to go on. What I've just done, of course, is paraphrase Malcolm X. This man's called me a racist for it. And you fall into this trap over and over and over again. When you look at Islam or Judaism or Christianity, we all have some very common values. And if we can unite as Americans under the Constitution, which is the order established for the New World, which sets uh, all these groups up, it took a while to get there, mind you, but uh, on a level playing field, uh, if we can just look at the things that are common, 
that we can take care of a lot of things that we find commonly offensive. Definitely, definitely. If we look at the fact that America was not established to be a Christian nation, it was not established to be a Jewish nation, it was established to be a nation of pluralism, a nation that accepted people from all different walks of life. And America, more so than anything else, is a nation that encourages us to compete. And competing more so with those who preserve their resources rather than those who waste their resources, the African American would be in a good situation. We don't even believe, for instance, in our uh, leadership in our community of Amer African American Muslims that we are economically depressed. Now, I know that's not going to be popular with a lot of <laughs> we, our black, I, we went to see uh, Malcolm X. We brought back a little outtake from it. We just thought you'd like to enjoy the movie. You are lessons, and we get a U or S. We hope for an S, so our correspondence will be OCS. Okay, well, let's uh, mount the match the S. Thanks. Back to the studio. We and Mr. McNeely. We love you best. Yes, sir. I love to work. <laughs> well, well, so do I. Uh, Lou Freeman, and, uh, president. State uh, president. State president. NAACP. NAC. 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 You know, when they started that, they should have come up with something like, like OSHA. Something well, that rings off the lip. Well, some people might, he should might know have better. a hard time pronouncing it with an acronym, so I just think it's better to call the letter. Fern, these, these overhauls, I gave them to my wife six years ago to mend the crotch. And we found them after after the move. We dug them out of the bottom of a pile and washed them off. And I amended the crotch, and I've got them on today. So that gives you. From where I'm sitting, I'm glad you have. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, don't look at the crotch. <laughs> it's not mended that well. Hi, welcome to the program. This is Fringe Video. We are now going to see the graphic. It'll say Fringe Video on here. I am Royce Larwick. I am the New World Order. I am omniscient, omnipotent, omnipotent, omnipresent, omnivore, omnibus, omnidine, omnithener, omnipresent. And et cetera. There we are. We're live, 15 November, 1993. I want to personally apologize for, uh, let's uh, lose this, for the uh, performance last week. Uh, and I want to personally apologize to my son here, who is no longer on the switcher. We have Tony here, who is now running the switcher. This man has been assigned one toaster transition. For, for show content, actually. We're going to do a little test of toaster, but first I want to apologize for, once again, personally, last week's uh, performance. Uh, and uh, But I would like to caution Al. I own this silly piece of wire from 7.30 to 8. And I don't care how panicked you are. I don't care how embarrassing it is. And I don't care if you want to call me out on the carpet and tell me to calm down. Don't ever... Consider taking me off the wire until I say abandon ship. Remember, I'm completely sane. This is a little expert. Are you ready, guys? Ready on the toaster? This is a toaster test. We should be seeing the toaster fairy any minute. We've got Beavis and Butthead stuck in here. I've been converted. I, I watched Beavis and Butthead the other day all the way through, and I really enjoyed it. Now, if this is timing, you will screw this up if you reveal... The show. Okay, are we ready to go with the Beavis and Butthead show? Ready, toaster, roll tape, and toaster. How do you stop that without an apple? You, you should have the audio back up. Thank you. Pass a few simple laws on Mexico. There is no guy. How do you stop it without an apple? Are we ready to reverse the toaster yeah, effect? Yeah, I'm I haven't heard these. Yeah, the stand by to reverse the toaster and I'm, I'm toaster. Ah. How do you stop it without an after? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. End of item one, Dan Quayle. I should have used that. It would have been funnier at the front. This is Dan Quayle. Picture of him telling a fish story. And, of course, you see uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's comedy, okay, or it would have been comedy. been funnier at the end of the bit, huh, Al? What do you think? That would have been a lot better earlier. Screwed up. Okay, now do the card.